Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the power door lock actuator. Um, we show you the driver's side sliding door. Uh, the procedure is basically the same for the passenger side sliding door as well. And it's a pretty uh, basic and straightforward procedure. Only tools you'll need are a Phillips screwdriver and a T15 Torx driver. Okay, start right up here, pull this out just like that. Now there's a Phillips screw right in this little cup here. Remove that. Okay. Now give a good pull. Okay. Try and work your way down. Back side might be easier first. Okay, kind of push it back in a little bit, open the door. On the front side and the bottom. Okay, lift it up off your lock and then bring it out. Okay, now carefully pull your water shield back. Um, there is a bracket there that there's some perforations in the shield. You can tear the perforations and pull it back. Um, otherwise, you could remove the whole uh, bracket. But pull that back so you can access the inside of the door. Once you're inside, just kind of pull this right out. Here's your door lock actuator. You follow this rod back and you'll see a little clip. You want to push the clip off and slide that rod out. And now there's a T15 screw right here. Remove that screw. And be very careful when you're removing the screw. Try not to drop it down in the door. They're almost impossible to okay. retrieve. If you do drop Actually, it, any small screw here. will um, do for Try and help me get this screw out. And your actuator comes out. Get your harness clips on right here. Just press okay, and disconnect. Okay. Our new actuator for, for Money Auto, it's actually, it fits both sides. Uh, the green side is for the passenger side. We'll undo this little um, Phillips screw here. Okay, take this arm carefully off. And it comes with a clear arm um, with uh, a red clip. And there's a little tab right here. Line that up uh, with the arrow. Okay, I'll put the screw back in. Tighten that up. Okay, now you just have to make sure that when you put this in here, you can feel back in here there's a little, there's a little uh, nub. Hey, in this shot here, we show you that's the little shaft inside the door um, that the slot on the actuator should go on to. Okay, make sure this goes right on there. And you can kind of slide it down into place. Lines right into place. Okay, that holds it in place. Plug in our connection. Okay. And put our arm back in and lock that clip on. Okay. Got 
Okay, I'm here. I'm just turning the uh, key on so I can do a quick test and you'll hear the horn beep when you lock it. I just want to make sure you're not locking yourself out. Okay, put the little sound ending block back in and then carefully put your uh, water shield back in place. Okay, now to reinstall the panel, first you want to make sure you pull up on the little top piece of trim and slide the um, door panel in behind it. I didn't uh, film that very well. Make sure your door lock knob comes through. Kind of make sure it feels like the pins are in the right spots. You can actually pull this cup out. Peek in behind, and there's a pin right there. Once you have those two started, okay. and all the other ones pretty much are right in line. And then right up here, just put this back together. Okay, pull this out. place. Okay, put this cup back in place. And put your Phillips screw back down in. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.